way I define it, and I actually name character and personality traits the same thing, mm -hmm. is for me the you know combination, that group of convictions that the ego uh, you know is made of, so to speak, and it was created between the, the age of zero years to five years old. The reason we say zero, let's just add that information, is because even when you are in, in the womb of your mother, you start formulating ideas. Most sensations, you don't really have ideas there, but you have sensations about life. So if, let's say, your mother was constantly scared, you know, you start having this fear of life being fearful mm -hmm. without even knowing it. It's not the thought in the fetus, but it senses that, you know, constant anxiety and fear. So that's the first small indication of a conviction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it happens all the time since you were conceived in a sense. Now, having said that, I want to add something more and I want to hear your opinion about it. Mm -hmm. So if we are, if, if the character, as we call it, if you know, personality traits is this combination of all those convictions that were created between zero and five, then are we our character? And is it true those sayings that we say you can't teach an old dog new tricks or you can't change a man's character? Exactly. Are they really true? Some people thought it was connected with the DNA and that's why they were saying it. It was almost like you were born that way. You were born with that character, who, mm -hmm. where it comes from. They didn't know. They said it was the soul. They said it had to do with God. It had to do with many things. And they thought you were born with that and that was it. You can never change it. You could maybe control it a little bit through wisdom, but you can never change it, right? Yes, you can never change anyone else, right? You can't change that person unless that person wants to change. Can you have a different experience of them? Yes, because it goes like back again into the idea, if you act a certain way and I label you as cranky, mm -hmm. then I will keep seeing that side of you. No matter what you do or say, I will be seeing it through that filter. Now, even though I cannot change your crackiness, let's say in that moment, even though quantum physically also you can, but let's stick into what most people experience. Mm -hmm. In that moment, if you're cranky and I put this new idea in my head that, you know, you're cranky because you're tired. Then all of a sudden, I have a reason for it. It's not identified with you. It's just a condition. And now because I don't expect you to be born cranky, or let's say, or that you're always like that, I say, mm -hmm. well, she was tired. She was, you know, anxious or whatever. Now I have a reasoning. I have a new idea. I have a new belief about you. I have a new expectation. So the moment you rest, according to me, you're going to be a different person. So now I kind of changed you, even though I didn't. At the end of the day, if we are, you know, if our character is not who we really are, but it's just an aspect of us, does it mean we can never change? According to my research, according to my experience in the years I've been working with my clients and students, the easiest thing to change is your character and your personality traits, because I consider them as clothes as items in your wardrobe where of course when you wear something I'm wearing you're wearing today something similar right so we have a perception of each other right I think we look good in black so <laughs> we have a perception of each other but if all of a sudden we were you know white mm -hmm. a different kind of perception I'm seeing it with a different light a little bit right because that adds something but you're still the same person right mm -hmm. it hasn't changed so in a sense who we really are the three aspect being is the same and we wear you know, our convictions almost like close and then it changes us a little bit, but at, at the end of the day, we are not our convictions, we just wear them. And we can actually change them, take that cloth off or that item of clothing off and wear something else. That would change a little bit how we perceive ourselves, how other people perceive ourselves, exactly like a piece of cloth, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change the body, in quotes, it doesn't change who we really are. So the good news, according mm -hmm. to me, yeah. is the easiest thing to change is your character, is your personality traits. Does it take some effort? Of course. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen automatically, but if you have the intention to, it does happen. So most of us maybe should stop using that as an excuse by saying to our friends, you know what, I can't change that's my character. Yeah. I know for a fact that's not the case because I have changed what you know mm -hmm. supposedly was my character.